Welcome back. Today we're going to make a device for capturing snakes and other pests. Uh, word of caution, there are some snakes and other pests which can be dangerous to humans. If you encounter that type of snake, uh, in particular a rattlesnake or some other type of venomous animal, um, I would recommend leaving that to the experts. Okay, But if you are in a situation where you just want to catch a snake and relocate it and you've identified that it's a safe snake to capture, uh, or you're willing to take your life in your own hands and go after a venomous snake, uh, we're going to make an improvised device. We're going to create sort of a noose uh, that will come out the end of the stick and we'll have a mechanism to, uh, to, uh, to trigger that just by pulling back here and uh, tighten the noose and capture the animal. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so the basic principle here is that you want to have a little noose that comes out of this end of your pipe and you want to be able to pull on the other end and, and shrink that noose up, okay? And that way you can, you can close it around the neck of the animal, whether it's a snake or uh, whatever you're capturing. So that's the basic principle. Uh, but what we're going to do to facilitate that is we're going to put a hole in the side of this. I don't want to be right out to the end because I want this to have plenty of strength. Uh, so I might go like three inches, three and a half inches up, uh, something like that and uh, drill a hole that's just big enough that I can thread my paracord through there. And I'm just going to drill one side. I'm not drilling all the way through both sides of this thing. Couldn't find the right size bit, so I'm going to ream a little. Uh, but you can save yourself some trouble by just having the right size bit in the first place. Now, I don't want to make this too big because when I get my paracord in here, I'm going to be uh, tying a knot on the outside and I don't want it to be able to pull through. So I think this will be about the right size. All right. And then I want to see if I can feed that through and out the end. I see that it is coming out. There we go. So when I get when I get it out here, I'm going to pull it most of the way through, and just I'm just going to leave a little bit enough that I can tie a good knot. And for this, I'm just going to tie a simple simple knot like that. Okay, and I just want it to be big enough that. <clears throat> Just want it to be big enough that it's not going to pull through that hole. And that should do it. And at this point, I'm going to feed this back down the length of my PVC pipe, or in this case, conduit. So what gave me this idea in the first place, <clears throat> I did run into a rattlesnake about uh, maybe three weeks ago. I'll probably roll in some footage of that. And when I ran into that snake, when I was out hiking in the National Forest, I had the thought, you know, it'd be nice if I had the ability to capture it and uh, relocate it. And I don't recommend going after, I do not at all recommend going after poisonous snakes uh, or any kind of dangerous vermin. Leave it to the experts. Uh, don't be going after rattlesnakes, okay? Okay, so once you get this through far enough that you can, uh, you can see it's coming out the other end here, okay? And then I can pull it, but I want to be careful because I want to make sure to leave that at this end, I want to make sure to leave a loop. Um, you can see how that's one end of that loop is secured there. Okay, so if I pull this down on something, I can pull as tight as I want and it's not going anyplace. All right, and this as is, this is pretty much ready for action. Uh, I would definitely shorten the other end and create a way that you uh, can be sure that this thing does not like fall down into the pipe. Okay, so once you have this at the desired length, then you're gonna wanna figure out at this end approximately how much you want to be able to put a handle on there. In our case, we're gonna use PVC since we're doing this whole project out of PVC and paracord. Um, so I really just need to be able to tie a good knot in this thing sort of like we did at the other end. And then you can save the rest of your paracord for another project. So, drill another hole. I'm gonna to try to center that. 
<clears throat> this is not proper uh, proper technique here for safety, but I'm going to be real careful with this. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, one, you can drill all the way through, run the paracord sort of through both sides and tie it off here. Uh, but I don't really see any reason why we shouldn't do the same thing with this that we did at the other end. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. So we don't have any real bad rough edges on there. And it looks pretty clean on the inside, otherwise I could pass a file through there. But I think this will be good. And I'm going to... Traditionally, you would uh, melt this end with a lighter, but I happen to not have a lighter with me, so I'm going to use a match. Which will accomplish the same goal. Okay. So then I will just feed that through the hole. And same thing again. Push that in there, comes out the end. Make sure my length is set set about right. So I want to have maybe about that much material for my loop to start out with. So I'm gonna pull that a little bit further back. Time I not. Same kind of idea, pretty simple knot, just like that, and there it is. So this is my handle at the one end, and this is the loop at the other. Okay, unfortunately I ran out of space on the camera and I didn't realize it, so um, uh, so you missed the part where I trimmed this, but you can see I, um, I trimmed the cord there and melted the end. and. Uh, I did the same on the other end here. You can see that trimmed and melted, so that shouldn't come undone. Now there is still one issue that you may have noticed, and that is that if I pull too far on this, this loop will actually get pulled back into the pipe. So there's one more problem to solve, and I can think of a few ways to solve it, but the way I'm going to go with is to take a length of paracord that I have trimmed off uh, like this, make sure that it's inside of here, loop it through there, and then tape it in place. And that way, if that gets pulled through to there, there it is right at the end, and I can just, I can just grab it and pull it back. And using tape, is better than actually like, you know, I could drill through here and put a, a peg through or something, but, but really tape is the way to go because I don't want to weaken this end. I want to leave this as strong as possible because when this uh, loop is cinched up, I want to make sure that this is strong enough to hold, you know, there might be a strong animal in there writhing and trying to get away and I want to make sure that I can hold it. I don't want this thing to have any potential for cracking or breaking or whatever. So to do this, I'm going to wrap this over the end I'm going to keep that as snug as I can and because I don't want it to be something that gets snagged or gets gets in the way uh, of using the device. And I'm using some hockey tape for this. You could really use probably just about any kind of tape that was strong tape. Uh, duct tape obviously would, would work. Uh, but whatever you have that's that's a that's a good strong durable tape and uh, something that's going to last a while because you don't want to have to keep redoing this every every time you use it. Tear that off, and there it is, ready to go. If it gets pulled all the way back, it's not a problem. Just reach in there and pull it, pull it back through.
So there it is, the finished snake catcher. This was a fun project. It was real easy, real cheap. I think I have less than a dollar probably into this project and uh, should be functional. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you did enjoy it, hit like, uh, hit subscribe, and maybe leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, join me next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.